this is the case of obstructive uh, jaundice of a face jaundice. Uh, patient A, 65 years. This is the common bile that measures approximately 11.1 millimeters. Normal should not exceed more than 7 millimeters with intact gallbladder. So this is the common bile duct. This is the portal vein. As we know that the uh, common bile duct forces anterior to the portal vein. So this is the region of the portal hepatis. This is the hepatic artery in transfer section. This is the impression of the gallbladder. So this is the gallbladder. Here we see this is the gallbladder. Small amount of sludge. This is the fold, gallbladder fold. And uh, here are Here you will see the dilated intrahepatic bile duct. This is the left lobe of the liver. This is the region of the porta hepatic. Pasalaya peric variety. Pasalaya. I'm asking the patient to turn towards this left atrium. Right, left. Now this is the scan in left atrium. The cubitus posture, where you see that the liver is normal in texture, out, outer surface, kidney is normal. And uh, here you see the dilated in traffic So the bindex are uh, dilated, as you see here. Bile ducts are dilated. Here you can see the bile ducts are dilated, but they are not dilated extensively or uh, and they do not reach the periphery of the liver. So the other point is that uh, in this patient, now when we scan the pancreas, the pancreas is absolutely normal. Inside cake capsule, no cochlein. This is the pancreas, no fatty, a bit fatty. But uh, as we know that as the age advances, the pancreas becomes fatty. This is the subrenic vein, superior mesenteric vein, superior mesenteric artery, and the aorta. The aorta, this is the aorta. And in longitudinal section, this is the head of the pancreas, this is the aorta, superior mesentery cardi rising from it, and uh, we do not see any lien relating to the pancreas. So this is extra pancreatic lien. Now in this situation, This is the portal window and at the most distant end. <coughs> this is the pancreas. I am trying to trace the uh, common bile the whole length of the CBD in front of you up to the distal end. 
and you will see if there is any area giving posterior shadow that is more crystal and where it forces the posterior and inferior surface of the head of the bone grow. Keep yourself focused, this is the CBD and keep yourself focused on this area, the most distal end of the CBD. Here you see there is an ecogenic area giving sharp posterior shadow and this is the calculus within the most distal end of the CBD. This is the photo vein, this is the photo vein and this is the this is the portal vein and this is the CBD. The light and it's dilated and it's in its entire length. And we can see a shadowing ecogenic area at the most distal traceable end of the <coughs> common bile So this being the common bile this is the ecogenic area measuring approximately uh, 11.4 giving posterior shadow and this is the cause of the obstruction. So this is the case study of an obstructive genre of benign cause. Thank you.